select wingman's target. For me, it's Joy 13, but that probably yeah. won't help you. <laughs> I just don't know what button that is. Uh, and you already have yours marked? Uh, my target? Or what? Yeah. Your yes. Target. My target is Call to 85 Sector Foxtrot November Dash. Oscar space Bravo two one tech four. Mm -hmm. I don't know what thirteen is. <laughs> uh, what what Hodas do you have? I have a Thrustmaster. Um, okay, try on the spiky button, pressing down. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the I same as me. I had to use those buttons before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So you have it selected. Cool. Yep. Um, so I'll jump. And we'll see what's waiting for us. And I'll charge mine. That's very convenient. You have the exact same one. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help. When, and, and I mean, the thing is, I got this while I was out exploring. So it's like I don't know the combat buttons at right. all, really. Except for when I went in a multi-crew and piloted my friend's uh, fighter. Okay. But that doesn't have all the same ones. Exactly. That's nice that you can do that now. I've never been out exploring for a long time, so... No nav beacon, no contacts, you're clear to jump. Alright, jumping. Yeah, I had that same experience, because I mostly uh, do buckyball racing. And so yeah. when I went to do combat, I was like, uh, shield cell bank? I don't know where that is. <laughs> like, I mean, all of my heat sinks are gone just because I accidentally pressed the button that releases heat sinks. Oh man, that happened to me on the way here. I had it set to <laughs> fire group one for some reason. I don't even know why. I'm jumping to the next system. I had visual on you. But yeah, having... Target oh, shoot. That is yeah. my bad. Uh, just tell me which one you're going to. Um, it's no, not. I should actually see. I see you on the map. I got okay. it. Alright. It's clear. Okay. That's me not being fast enough with your reactions. No, that's me not waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, this is the first time I'm interacting with a player in eight months or seven months. Eight months? Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, it sounds longer than it really was because I took a few date, like, decent period breaks in between. Yeah. Especially when they announced, like, 2.3 was going to buff exploration. It's like, well, why am I going to continue? Right. If they're, uh, Oh, yeah, just, the um, payouts you going get now should be crazy. Exactly. Oh, I'm very curious to see you. Um, okay. Alright, I got it. Cool, I see you. I'm jumping to next system. Yeah, I did, um... Have you heard of the Road to Riches? Yeah, I've been... Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, seeing that all over Reddit kind of pisses me off. <laughs> oh, I can totally understand that as like a legit explorer. Like, like, <laughs> like as a legit explorer, this is my fourth expedition and everything. I've probably hit Elite maybe twice over mm -hmm. as an explorer. Yeah. But just to see like all of these exploits between Road to Riches or Quince and all of that stuff, like it's just so bad. You're clear to jump. Yeah, Quince, Quince is bad. I really liked the <laughs> long-range smuggling from, like, Seos and Sothis and Urbigo, because you actually had to do something. Yeah. I, I remember, like, I think that I was around when it was, like, the 400 light-year jumps you had to make back to the bubble. Exactly. For, like, the 2 million. That was fun. <laughs> oh, well, when I was doing it, I could get, like, 80 million if I filled up my cutter. Well, Maybe see, 2 million a mission. Back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have visual on you. I'm going to jump to next system. You have it targeted. But yeah, I I whole I, I totally abuse Quince, but like I, I think it's bullshit at the same time. It, it is. And I mean <laughs> it kills me to see all of these people complaining about it. It's like, guys, 
It's not supposed to be something you just get handed to. I mean, I know some of these ships cost uh, like a metric fuck ton of money to, to A rate and everything, but mm -hmm. you can't expect it. Like, I remember I knew someone who literally just started playing the game two weeks ago who just abused 17 Draconis back when it was a thing yeah. and was already trying to buy his Corvette. And I'm like, you realize you're skipping through. Am I clear to jump? System clear. Mm -hmm. You're you're mm -hmm. skipping through so much. Sure, you're skipping through grinding and everything, but it's like, what's the point of having the best ship in the game? Like, everything's just going to be boring afterwards. So, uh, here's a fun story. I met some guy in an anaconda, um, like a week ago with some other Iridium Wing members. I have visual yeah. on you. I'm jumping to next system. And he was going to kill one of our members because they were on some KOS list. And he started attacking them and we just blew the hell out of him and he jumped away. And we ended up talking and it was some weird stuff. And I ended up fighting him in my python and just like beating him really easily. And I was like, that's strange. Well, okay, whatever. Well, people buy these big ships and they don't know how to use them. Wait, wait, wait. So I'm also part of the fuel rats. I saw oh, him really? call the fuel rats three times in the next week. Every single time was on the way to Quince. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, oh my gosh. System clear. Can I just say, I mean, because I remember following the whole story with Chiggy and everything back in, I think it was like February. I don't remember I just, Chiggy. Chiggy had to go all the way out to Beagle to save some guy who. Oh man, that's crazy. Into, who jumped into a system and didn't have the materials to FSD boost out of it. Mm hmm. So, Chiggy went all the way from Colonia to Beagle in about 48 hours. Right. And literally mined with the guy to get him the materials and everything. That's so crazy. So, it was like such a big thing that he ended up on like Eurogamer and all that. That's awesome. So, I actually stumbled across a few of his systems out there and it was like, mm -hmm. that's pretty much a, a few that celebrity right there. Yeah, that guy's crazy. Like, I mean, especially now, I've considered, um, oh, I've considered maybe joining the Fuel Rats because, you know, I'm used to these long-range things and everything. I mean, I know most of it happens in the bubble. Yeah. But. Well, like, I've done 25 rescues, and they've all been in the bubble. But one thing you could do, um, and I'm totally, I might be, get a second account for exploration, and I'll just stick, like, a few limpets and, like, a 1A thing on it. So that if there's anybody in the middle of nowhere, uh, the system is clear. Thing. Yeah, then like I can just stop by and help them out. But yeah, there are also people who do the long range rescues. I just don't have the time for them. I, if I were to do that, I'd probably use my anaconda instead of my cutter. I just, I got the cutter, I did a bunch of stuff in it, and it's like, you know what, I want to explore with this thing. Yeah. Because I'm sure many people don't explore with the cutter. <laughs> So the and, and to get it to Beagle Point, if, if I felt so damn proud for no reason. That's awesome. I I had a fun trip with a cutter. I took it out to Colonia for oh, nice. the mission when it first launched, like two weeks after Colonia was out. The yeah. Buckyball Club had a race out there, so it was a cutter fully loaded oh, with like God, 700 tons hell? of cargo. Oh. I see. That jump range must have not been fun. It was like, I want to say it was 18 on the way out. Hmm. On the way back, it was like 27. But like, yeah, 18 was pretty bad. Because, I mean, you did just you, don't go in a straight line. Did you neutron highway or no? No, they, nobody knew oh, about the neutron highway there was back then. Oh, right. Oh. It, was, it was a lot of jumps. I'm trying to remember how many. I'm, and I'm sad I don't have the beta to do this, but when the game comes out, like when the next patch comes out, I want to get like a stock Sidewinder and just like fill the cargo, get the shittiest FSD and plot the 20,000 on economical mm -hmm. and just see how many jumps it expects you to do. To you heard about it. the guy who made it from Seoul to Colonia without refueling, right? I heard about that. He took like a lot of hydrogen, was like, right? Anaconda. Yeah, he did six thousand jumps in an anaconda. System is clear. Um, did you hear about that guy in the beta who went from Seoul to Colonia, um, just constantly 
refreshing his uh, life support. Like he shut his life support off and would just keep what? resetting the timer. <laughs> <laughs> These people in the Veda get so bored so fast. That that sounds. Oh my gosh, the fuel red in me is like dying. Like no, yeah, we had there was some giant discussion on the fuel red IRC today about like what do we do about synthesis? Like when people log in, do we have them try and do that first? Or set up like their wing beacon and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can imagine being. I had conflicting thoughts because it's like I thought either the fuel rods would prevail with the next patch or kind of fail with it, mm -hmm. considering you know the synthesis and the repair limpets now and everything like that. But I mean, there will still be clueless players out there. Oh yeah, not like, paying attention. I want to say. Um, I see you. I'm jumping to next system. You have it targeted. Yeah. Uh, 80. So something like half of the rescues I've done have been sidewinders. Um, I want to say like 80% of the rescues are probably fairly new players who either didn't have a fuel scoop or didn't know how to filter the galaxy map at least. Yeah. And then there's like 20% like some experienced commander just was forgetful or attention. something. Yeah. yeah. Which like whatever happens to everybody system is clear yeah i think they'll still be around did you hear about like the ps4 launch what about it uh so the rats on a normal day do f maybe 40 rescues after the ps4 launch it was 150 to 200 a day per for a day? week <laughs> yeah how many fuel rats are there as I mean, on the roster, there's like 800, but there's maybe 100 active. Oh, yeah, well, the problem was that, like, nobody had a PS4. Like, I don't have a PS4. So we yeah. got these, like, new PS4 players, and we're training them, and they don't have a... They haven't been drilled or anything, and they're, like, doing 12 rescues in a row. <laughs> that's, that's, like, rough experience right there. Yeah, I think some of them got, like, epic commendations. They gotta be like the best freaking VRS at this point for having to learn on their own. Yeah, just just keep going, guys. Oh okay. my god. I'm jumping to next system. You have it targeted. Yeah, let's see. The, the trip to Colonia, my time was 16 hours. And that was pausing for... That time was paused whenever I was away from the computer. And I was jumping about every 50 to 55 seconds. Yeah, see, when I start out, I like to be like the thorough explorer and everything. System is and then clear. I'll slowly, slowly filter it down to, all right, what's important? What's in the Goldilocks zone? That's probably terraformable. <laughs> yeah. And then it, like, this was the first time. I think I got to the outer spiral arm on my, like, the last 30,000 light years to get to Beagle. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to hog keep going because <laughs> it's like I can already imagine I've made a ridiculous amount of money yeah because you know between writing the neutron stars and black holes and finding a bunch of water worlds and everything like I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm set for at least a while yeah, so cool. <laughs> time to go uh, buy an imperial eagle and do stupid things I'm jumping, I have visual on you, and you have it targeted. <sighs> oh, sweet home. So close. Yeah. Just I'm going don't forget here just how so to dock. Can... I'm sorry? Just don't forget how to dock. Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> I, I've been landing on planets constantly. So. Oh, boy. I mean, I at least, I did that just so I would never like you know get back and just like how do I even do this sort of thing? Right. I just have to remember to go to 750 and then request that. I'd have to remember. I don't think I had shields on that cutter because <laughs> it would have taken up valuable cargo space. Oh yeah, that's just <laughs> that's the selfish cutter build. Right. So I I think I landed on like eight planets because I actually followed whatever expedition was going to Colonia at the time. You're clear mm -hmm. to jump. Okay. And each time it was like, carefully, carefully, <laughs> three meters a second, two meters a second. 
Yeah. Well, like, the other night when I was setting up this escort and everything, I'm like, yeah, I got 73% hull still and everything. Unconsciously, I guess I never put my shield back up when I went to land. And at five meters, I, saw that. I just <laughs> thought it, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oops. My bad. A little bit. A little bit. I mean, I'm proud to say that I'm not a reckless explorer like some of these other posts I'll see where it's like, I'm down to 30% hole and I'm still not to be on. I'm like, well, what have you been doing? Not paying attention. That's very really horrible. Now, they won't be able to synthesize, right? Because you have to have like a whole repair limpet um, thingy on your ship. You won't be able to repair your hull or yeah. your canopy. Um, I think they'll be able to replenish their life support, but it'll probably be useless if yeah, it gets to that point. cares about life support if your hull's at zero. Or your canopy's broken. <laughs> I remember um, my first trip to Colonia. I took a passenger mission. And so the first way was kind of going straight through, then I got there, then I kind of just kept following like a trail of black holes, because this was back when neutron stars were... Uh, Valuable. When they first got their um, their jet streams, system is clear. They were really um, glitchy okay. to the point where like so many people were being sucked into the ejection cones and blown Dying. up out right. of being their fault. So on the like the last stretch coming back, um, the mini patch came out where they claimed that they fixed that. Okay. Lo and behold, I tried to speed my whole trip up and ended up getting stuck in one of them, immediately killed the game, and went to support, and they're like, yeah, we're sorry about that. And so they ended up just moving me straight to the dock I was trying to get to. So it was like, <laughs> that expedition didn't even feel complete. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a bummer. Which, um, which station? Uh, I believe it was, um, uh, uh, Sudden that. Gateway. Yeah. Okay, so we're on the last jump, so go yeah. ahead and go into your galaxy map and plot a route directly to the gateway. Alright, we're going straight that way, right? Yeah. Do you know how to... Okay. And I what? Uh, I was gonna suggest navlock, but we don't really need to. I'll see how the system is. I see you, so I'm gonna jump there now. Okay. Um, if I drop on the station, you can navlock on me and drop onto it. But there's a bug where if you don't then turn off navlock before you go into the station, you'll um, like slam into it, right? Or something like that. Yeah, and you'll die. <laughs> like yeah, the, I don't. Want, I really don't want that. No, no. So I'll, we'll I'll skip avoid that. I'll the part. shortcuts. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we specifically used it when somebody was coming into Quince, and there were like oh, four. God gankers in the system and we were like we need to get you to the station as fast as possible mm -hmm. but that shouldn't be as much of an issue here let's see if there's anybody i mean i, I just wanted to come here so that i could use some of that exploration data to get the permit to aloth oh okay but then i was probably going to go to Rhea and uh i don't know grind some fed right there because I'm done with the Empire, so... <laughs> You've got a cutter, what else is there? You're clear to jump. Exactly. <laughs> After you jump, run to the station and drop and wait. Like, I wish they put something worthwhile at King, because it's like, right? who's gonna bother? <laughs> I can't even remember the, the highest level in, um, what is it, Admiral? For Fed? I've got a commander in system. Be prepared to drop to normal space if they're getting behind you at all. It is a python. I see him. Behind me. He left. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go to station. I'll follow you. Yeah, earlier when I was getting closer, I saw a USS for the first time. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, in, in the People. Info thing, I, had, I hadn't gotten any messages except for, like, discovering. Um, New stuff? Yeah, so it's like, just, I was fuel scooping and I wasn't paying attention, so I just heard, like, the sound, and I'm like, what was that? 
post. <laughs> you get so paranoid <laughs> when you're out there for so long. Space madness. It's a real thing. Uh, Netflix helped though. That's good. Did anybody ever get Netflix working on the, uh... On the VR? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like where you could drop it into, um, your bottom screen. Because that would be pretty hilarious. It's on the far side of the planet. Yeah. No, it's not. Fuck. Are you gonna... Loop of shame. I'm paying attention. I got it. Just call it gravity Actually, isn't breaking. it isn't it better to do it this way because you're right in front of the opening? It. I can describe. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like this, I guess, was just my instincts doing that. Also, if you're going for like pure speed, the fastest way is actually to go to for the planet, the planet nearby, loop around, gravity break, and come back in. But nobody believes it. Oh no, I, I've done it all the I used to do it all the time. Okay. It's totally faster. Yeah, alright. Okay. Fine. It looks like it's clear. Request oh, my God, I have not heard that voice in so long. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Commander. Alright, and then pull out landing gear, right? I just forget how much this thing drifts. A lot. Yeah. There's a reason I don't fly it anymore. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's just I love the way it looks and it's really cool. I um I have a chrome skin for mine and I actually took it yeah, to an asteroid I'm... station and it looks gold inside. But cool gold, not like the lame gold. <laughs> not like the golden <laughs> that just came out. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, a yeah. dolphin coming in. I think you can probably get in behind it. I don't see yep. anything taking off. I haven't actually landed in a station with this throttle, so this feels weird. <laughs> don't mess it up now. I'll be shamed I'm forever. Not. I swear <laughs> to God, I will be so angry <laughs> if fucking station targets me. <laughs> oh, whoa. Not my smoothest mail slot entrance, but I mean, there's not really much extra room. Yeah. Although the beluga is worse. Ah, uh, yeah. I I was debating whether to get a dolphin or a beluga. I'm getting a dolphin. The dolphin is fun to fly. And not to mention, it lands at outposts too, right? Yep. It's small. It's not even medium. That's perfect. Yeah. I, the one thing I hate about the cutter is that the landing demographic like graphic makes the tail go through the floor. Yeah. Congratulations. Now go sell the data. Yeah. Or at least get inside the station. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Things can still kill you. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, what? Yeah. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Happy to help. Welcome back to civilization. You'll be here yeah. for about a week and then get wanderlust again. <laughs> I think I'll be here. Actually, it's funny you mention that. Um, I kind of inadvertently signed myself up for a luxury expedition in October. <laughs> a luxury in real life yeah, or in I'm, here? No, in in, in game. Okay. Um, on Reddit, they uh like it's just gonna be sod cruiser ships going to like a bunch of the different local nebula and stuff. Oh, that's it's supposed hilarious. to last like two months. Is that the tinfoil one or is that different? I think they were called like. DSL or something? Okay. I have to find it. DSI? Uh, no, it's not DSI. It's okay. not the Deep Space Initiative. I kind of confused myself with that the other day. Yeah, the Dolphin is a fun ship. Try it out. It's what I did like 20 or 30 stops on the Red Ridges with, and it's just, it's a joy to fly. And it's yeah. pretty. Starport services. Let's see how bad my color scheme destroy. Oh my lord, they're white. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. The UI colors, how they mess up the pictures now. Yep. Let's see, repair all 111,000 credits. I don't know if you can afford that. 
I don't think so. I'd repair my calf. <laughs> so let's get the starting balance. I just wish this didn't take so long. <laughs> it goes faster now. Does it? I I think I'm I don't so much exploration data, but I want to say it's like sixty a page now. Okay. I'm not I'm not positive. Well, I'm stuck in a standby screen. <laughs> this is cool. Let's hope it doesn't this, like, teleport you out the station. Oh no. After it drops you. Oh. Universal Cartographics? No, no, no. I'm trying to see who the controlling faction is here. 78 or same majors for equality. No, a lot. You want to go somewhere else? Uh, I can probably. Mm, I don't want to be a pain in the ass. So. Yeah. You can Roman definitely go somewhere God. else. If you have enough money, you can just put a big shield on. Roman Dock. How far is that? Is that also in the system? Yeah, yeah it's, it's in the system. 240 light seconds. Hmm. Yeah, that's easy. You mind? Yeah, that's fine. Um, have you confirmed who controls it on, like... Yeah, it's it's Elios. Okay, sure. That's good. All right. I'm launching. Oh, God, it's making me do a pre-flight checklist. Um, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> What? How did did that get turned on like during a patch? So. <laughs> you look like kind of <laughs> we haven't seen you, Randy, for a while, Commander. We want to make you sure you're qualified to fly that ship. Sure. All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Having fun. That's the first time I've seen that in years. <laughs> Already outside. Yep. All right. Stop drifting, please. Uh, no. <laughs> you can put like eight A thrusters on that thing or whatever, <laughs> and it'll still drift. Oh God, I'm being like so slow. It's Go okay. Slow and safe is good. We like. Slow. That's the one thing I hate about the Anaconda too, though, is the fact that the bridge is so high up. Uh, it feels weird. Like your head's gonna come off. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let me go into Super Cruise first. Why? Uh, that would be a good time to see if I had nothing really wrong. I don't. I hope not. Because I really <laughs> don't want to fight all the station security. <laughs> I mean, I'll try. But... We went down <laughs> fighting. Hopefully just I went down fighting. Oh. Uh, I may have had an av lock on you, so I will turn that off. Try again. Oh, it's going to be nice to get out of this big thing. Although you did have the experience of the fighter, at least. Yeah, but that was like... Maybe... 20 minutes out of like 200 something days. <laughs> right. Okay. Super Cruise looks saying. clear. Are oh, you already here? Cool. Yeah. Sorry. That's I got okay. really shit. Uh, and I know you said you had to get off soon, right? Uh, yeah. Alright, okay, so. Once I land, you are relinquished of your duties. Sweet. 
just let me know when you sell it how much it is in Discord. I'm very curious. Oh, I, will. <laughs> I will definitely tell you. Because there were a lot of systems I actually did a full scan on. Yeah, I should go back and look. I know I've escorted somebody with like at least 500 million before. I'm pretty, but it might be above that if you've been up for I'm eight pretty months. sure I'm gonna easily beat that. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not even like. I'm gonna post and make a big thread on Reddit too about Sweet. the whole thing. So. Well, I've got it recorded and I'll upload it to YouTube if you want. Sure. <laughs> A random <laughs> trash talking. <laughs> what? We're so professional here. Yeah, we are. Hey, look, it's nice to talk to somebody after so long. Okay. <laughs> just imagine if, like, it were real, and you just hadn't Could talked you, to anybody you ever, for two hundred days. Did you ever see Interstellar? No, sadly oh, not yet. Man. That's such a good movie. Does that have some similar scene? It has a scene where a guy hasn't talked to anybody in like. 20 years. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, and so that's like the epitome of space madness. Like, yeah, that, that'll do you in. Oh, good lord, I could not imagine doing that. Okay. I'm in here. I'll be there. Can't wait to see how crappy the paint looks on this thing. You can go to external camera. Yeah, no, I just <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I land. I see, just to see just how terrible everything is. Yeah. Remember to request docking. Yes, of course. Unlike me. <laughs> I'm like 10 feet away from the slot. Mm, oh, look, docking. Pad, pad 32 again. Nah. It's oh, not it's as so good annoying. as pad 25. <sighs> well, I mean, you, you land on what, a medium, right? Yeah. I just meant pad 25 is my favorite big pad. Why? Um, is it right in front of the mail slot? No, it's at the back of the station, so if you're in a Type oh. 9, you can actually still boost in and out. Oh, God. Because reasons. Okay. And then, you're good in to go. before a spontaneous <laughs> beluga. <laughs> oh, no, please no. I don't see any beluga in here. I'm seeing, what is that? An orca approaching mail slot. Oh, yeah, it's coming in. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing going out. Alright, I'm only gonna get out. I'm trying to line up. Could you imagine trying to smuggle in a cutter? Oh, I did. <laughs> I... Did you really? Silent yeah. running and everything? Yeah, with uh, CS and Sothis. It was pain. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> it was... The patience you must have had. It was 80 million every time I did it. <laughs> Still, it's like... Oh, yeah. There's a <laughs> dolphin coming out. coming out. Okay. <laughs> Should be almost done. Yeah. Waiting. Alright. Oh, wait, is something else coming out? No, nope, you're good. Big. I always turn prematurely and like hit the back against the mail slot. It's so long, and your yeah. cockpit's just at the very, very beginning. And then you also forget that there's the two wings. Right. Okay. Let's go. I feel like a beginner again landing on these things. Oh, not the infraction. I love how everything here is punishable by death. I mean, parking violations are a serious problem. Oh shit, um... What? What the oh, hell was that? fuck. Was that you? Yup, 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 yup. Oh dear. I'm getting away from you, and I'm dead. Please land. I'm landing, I'm going in the air. 
I was uh, I was trying to take a I was trying to take a cheesy screenshot and I accidentally <laughs> pressed the trigger. Particle accelerator. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I recorded that. Oh yeah, I recorded that. Oh god. I just see a bright pink ball fly right past my cockpit and I'm like, oh no. Uh, okay. Well cool. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I would tip you your rebuy, but still can't yeah. trade credits in this game. No, I'm fine. That rebuy was totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, cool. Have a good night. I'm going to cash out. I'll see you later. I'll post some screenshots in the uh, thread tomorrow. Alright, see, see you. Later.